not having met Mike until this evening, I checked in with some of my friends in, in college football to find out a little bit about you. So please correct me if I say anything now that might be off base. Quirky, unique, smart, eccentric, pirate freak. <laughs> Are you that complex? Really? Are <laughs> well, maybe like his offense, the, the beauty is in the simplicity, and he has truly taken Texas Tech to the next level. And one of the most dramatic football games of this or any other season was Texas Tech's upset of Texas. And the architect of that victory was this coach, Mike Leach, a man who has built one of the most exciting offenses in all of college football. Mike went to BYU, same as Andy Reid, which may explain why they share a love of the forward pass. <laughs> and this season, Texas Tech won 11 games and climbed to number two in the polls, earning Mike Leach the George Munger Award as College Coach of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 20th Annual George Munger Award for College Coach of the Year, Mike Leach. Well, I'll tell you what, I appreciate it. I, you know, I was at the ESPYs one time, and, uh, and uh, Sean White, who uh, wins virtually everything that involves a snowboard, um, came up, and Carmen Electra presented uh, him his award, okay? And he comes up, and, they, uh, and you know, he's like this. And he says, wow, he says, I can't believe I'm standing next to Carmen Electra. So now I know how Sean White feels uh, with Susie presenting uh, me the award. <laughs> the uh, I've only been I've only been I've only been to Philly uh, a couple times. I've always liked it, just uh, f you know, from a distance and things. And <laughs> And, and, I, and I always wondered, I always wondered why, why that was, you know, was, was it the good food? And I'm thinking, yeah, it's good food, but that's not exactly it. Uh, uh, you know, if fans don't like the way things are going uh, football-wise, they throw snowballs, which uh, I like that, <laughs> because I think that uh, fans should be involved in the game and should have a little bit of passion with regard to what's going on. And then... Um, and then, so then I thought, well, Rocky, I mean, I like that. And then, um, and then I like, uh, you know, that it's a blue collar, uh, get your hands dirty place. Nobody from Philly, even the rich ones, none of them are afraid to get their hands dirty. And, and, but, but then, uh, then, and I began to suspect, you know, what I liked best about it, um, you know, prior to, uh, coming in here but now I know for sure it's reinforced perfectly what I what I like what I like best about Philly is everybody yells <laughs> everybody in Philly yells one after the next yells I mean and periodically I could hear somebody out there yelling his friends right next to him but he's yelling and and and, 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 and yeah yeah it's, uh, it, 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 and that's the conversational tough because nothing is more annoying, especially football-wise, or especially when you're breaking in a young quarterback and, and, you know, he wants to go under center. Two, two, go, you know. <laughs> and, 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 and that, that I, and I'm fairly certain, and this isn't, the, this isn't scientific, but I'm fairly certain <laughs> that is never a problem in Philly. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, you always know what's on everybody's mind and I like that, and I like the fact that you don't have to ask people to repeat stuff because, because you know. I mean, if you're supposed to communicate, you know, the reason you talk, communicate, you know. And why only Phil, why Philadelphia understands that so much better than everybody else is a mystery to me. But it, But, but at, at, at any rate, I, 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 uh, you know, I'm among a whole bunch of heroes here. I mean, it's some of you guys, uh, I've never met Andy Reid, but Andy Reid's one of my heroes. I mean, I got, I got one hero after the other here, and I think, I think, and I think, I think uh, 
I think all of us really do, because this is a very impressive crowd. I can't say enough about uh, you know, having the opportunity to be mentioned in the same breath with these people. Uh, you know, I, I view pretty much all awards football-wise as team awards, and, and, it, and, and you know, on behalf of the Red Raiders, we're really grateful uh, for the Munger Award because uh, you know uh, we got that award on the backs of uh, a whole lot of great players and uh, great coaches, and uh, in particular, my wife Sharon out there. She always says, "Well, did you see me? I was sitting at the table. Well, we got these lights right here. I don't see anything." <laughs> And and if, and if she and if she learns to uh, and if she learns to yell like people from Philly, I'd know exactly where she was. But but I want her to know how much I appreciate uh, what she does, and uh, we're very grateful for this award. And uh, thanks for everything. Thank you. 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 Thank you.